Well, hello everyone. It's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a lost love reading today. So the topic is what's holding them back from you. So if you're in a circumstance right now where maybe you haven't spoken to someone in a while, uh, yet you still feel connected to them, let's see if they still feel connected to you and what they might be holding back and all of those things. So of of course, just take what resonates and get rid of anything that doesn't. All the decks will be listed in the description box down below, as well as this beautiful Organite right here. So let's go ahead and get started, you guys. I'm going to take a look and see what were the key reasons for the breakdown in your connection. So in other words, what happened with this person? What are the details surrounding the breakdown? Okay. All right, let's see what spirit wants to share with us today about your lost love with what went down in the past, what, what you know, just initially broke down this situation between the two of you. All right, let's see. Hmm. Interesting. So we do have pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It's so funny. There's this show and I don't know which one it is. I think it's like on Max. It's like a murder mystery kind of like documentary style where they do these episodes and it always says, but there were signs, you know? <laughs> so I don't know why that's coming to me, but um, obviously there were signs and the signs started telling you that there was something off. So I feel like you could have been seeing this person and then it seemed like everything was fine until it was wasn't. And then all of a sudden you were just like, I feel like something's off. Maybe you asked this person, maybe they gaslit you. Maybe they lied to you. Maybe they didn't tell you what was really going on. Maybe they didn't really know how they were feeling. There's many things that could have gone down here, but there's definitely some sort of a red flag that was uh, flown and we either ignored it or we caught on to it and we started to ask questions. We started to investigate and maybe something appeared. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else is going on in regards to the key reasons for the breakdown in your connection. What else does Spirit want to share with us today? Okay, so we have Venus energy here. So obviously planet Venus is all about love and beauty and romance and affection. It's also about what we value, you know, things that bring us pleasure, etc. So I do feel you guys that um, obviously there was some sort of a mutual attraction between you and this person. So that wasn't... Um, that that wasn't the the issue is what I'm getting here. Spirit wants you to know that it wasn't because you were not good enough. It wasn't because you weren't beautiful enough or attractive enough. All those things were there. There was just something else. There was something else going on with this individual. There was something else at hand. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. Maybe you even saw it before you got together with them. I feel like maybe some of you guys could have even been warned about this person or just kind of like, oh, you know what? This is not the kind of person that I would usually trust, but I'm just going to give them the benefit of the doubt kind of thing. All right. So let's go ahead and get some specific details on all of this energy here. All right. What do we need to know? All right. Tell us more, spirit. Oh, interesting. Two of swords. I feel like there could have been a red flag with messaging. Either somebody was not responding to your text right away. It was delayed. You were just kind of like, wait, they always answered my text before. How come they're no longer responding to my texts until the next day? So I feel like there's this could have been a sign here that something was off with this person. Something just started to feel off. Um, it could have been that maybe they were hiding their phone from you. They were turning their phone off at night, um, you know, or just like they had a code on their phone where you couldn't see what messages popped up. Somebody just could have changed something, a setting on their phone. It could have been you even went through the, their phone and found something. You could have seen an online account, something social media wise, where obviously we'd be looking at our phone, um, taking a look at social media in some instances. But the two of swords overall just is a stuck energy. At some point, you and this person, you, 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 got into like a, an energy where it was just kind of stuck. It was no longer flowing, basically. It was a stalemate. It got stale. And maybe somebody turned their back on the other person when they kind of felt bored and they were just like, mm, on to the next thing. So I feel like some of you guys could have been dealing with an uh, like a person who maybe got bored easily. But what I want to convey to you in this reading, you guys, is that it wasn't you. It wasn't because you're not good enough. It's because obviously this person has some sort of issue. 
Um, there could have also been like a red flag where this person just was no longer wanting to be intimate like they used to, mm -hmm, all of these things. So that's definitely um, a red flag when that pops up. Let's see what else. We have the four of wands. I feel like at one point you guys were doing really well. Maybe some of you guys were in a full-blown commitment. Maybe you guys were planning on even getting married or moving in together. Maybe some of these things did happen with this individual. But I feel like at some point, you know, you guys were pretty doing well. And then all of a sudden, this happened. This uh, There was a halt here. There was some kind of a halt. Yeah, look at that. Temperance. Temperance right here is an energy. Um, well, there's a couple of things I'm picking up on here. First of all, it's very much this energy where we're blending well. We're blending well with the other person. But then something happens to where maybe this just isn't the right time. It's like right person, wrong time. I feel that vibe for your, your, your individual. They felt like you were the right person at the wrong time in their life. They weren't ready for this commitment. They always wanted a commitment maybe, but when maybe they got it, they were just kind of like, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I don't know if I'm ready to settle down. It just, I feel like you were the total package, you guys. You really were. You would have been a great parent, a great, you know, just like family, somebody to share a home with, all those things. All those things were present. So I feel like the takeaway from this first message is that the red flag isn't that you're the issue. The red flag is that this person, whoever they are, was had a major issue. They may have had some sort of like something that they need to needed to reconcile or heal within themselves. So maybe when they got involved with you, they still had a lot of healing to do. They still had a lot of things that they needed to focus on in their own lives. And um, they may have presented to you that they were ready for a commitment, but I'm just seeing here in this reading so far, it doesn't look like they were ready for that commitment. And if they entered into a commitment with you, it looks like at some point they turned their back on you. They started paying attention to someone else or just checked out basically of the situation. Okay. So we're going to continue on with these messages and see what else Spirit has to say in regards to what are the key reasons for the breakdown and misconnection. What else does Spirit want to show us? Okay, so some of you guys could have gotten married to this person, but I do feel for some of you, it may have been that you talked about getting married and obviously something was called off or even just talking about this could have really just caused your person to go, oh my God, I'm not ready for this kind of thing. Some of you guys, it could be third party. This person could have been involved. Um, they could have been in another commitment and you got involved with them. And of course, that would be a red flag right from the start. They're with someone else. It's it's going to be very difficult. Why is this person not being honest with their, with their individual? They're telling you one thing and yet it just seems like it's just off. So I do feel like the situation that you guys were involved in could have involved somebody else's marriage, whether it was theirs, yours, it might not have been marriage. It could have just been like a commitment like marriage. Somebody had other commitments elsewhere. And so they were kind of going in between both parties possibly, but it could just be this, the speaking of this major commitment, maybe not wanting the same things, not being on the same page, really enjoying the connection for what it was, was in that moment, but kind of like, I don't really want to go all the way here with it. I don't want to take it all the way to marriage and commitment. So I feel like that could have been the downfall. But again, that's <laughs> no reflection on you, the person watching the video. It's this person's issues, perhaps with commitment. We have family love. So the image that we have here is of somebody that might have a family. There could have been some, like there could have been even an ex or children or a current relationship that was happening during your connection with this person. Um, it could also be their hangups with family members, as in their family may have had some sort of, I don't want to use the word choice, but say so in who they marry or who they're going to end up with. And as great as you were, it may have been that there was something about you, whether it was just, you know, um, could be anything, any any number of reasons why maybe you didn't fit the mold for certain family members. But it's like, to me, the family is involved in some sort of a situation here. So to me, this is also a key breakdown in your connection as in it's just either not going to work because of involvement with the family or this person had a family or even family issues, upbringing, things like that. 
And we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is childhood. It's also about the past. So I feel like this person had some sort of hangups with their past. It was either childhood trauma, the way that they were brought up, the way that they looked at marriage may have been negative. They may have wanted to be with you, but just not get married. So you have somebody that's like, I'm never going to get married. That could have been an issue here. It could also be somebody that had a past with someone else and they just were not done with that. They were not done with that cycle. So how could you move forward with them? You really can't. Okay. The three of cups, three of cups can indicate third party. It can especially with what we're talking about right now. This is also somebody who is really having a fun time with you, but it's like when the party's over, it's over, basically. They couldn't really commit to you further because either they were committed elsewhere or they were just kind of like, this is just really all I'm looking for. I do feel like someone may have led you down the wrong path. They told you certain things only to mislead you, to be with you. But then in the end, it was like, yeah, I'm just not really feeling it or whatever. So I do feel like you guys got involved with this person under false pretenses. But I do feel like there might be a few of you that already knew kind of going into the situation like, eh, you know, you saw some signs, but you didn't want to really listen to that. And I've done it a million times myself. So no judgment there. And then we have the uh, Ten of Pentacles. This isn't a, a family. There's something about tradition. There's something about someone that already has a family or family is, is just a big deal to this person, what their family wants. There's a say-so here in how this individual and who they end up with. So I just either, I'm, I'm just going back and forth with this energy. Please take what resonates for you. But there's an involvement with a family here, some sort of family involvement that created some kind of a breakdown in your connection. So that's what I'm seeing here. It could be a sibling. It could be a friend that's like family, a mother or father, something like that. Or this person just already had like a commitment to another person with a family. All right. So let's see what else. What else does Spirit want to share with us about this situation and the breakdown of it? Oh, we have keep an open mind. Okay. This just confirms for me. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type of expectations. So there's a couple of things that I'm picking up on. Your Their family or whoever was surrounding your person was, was either just like, this, this, this person doesn't fit the mold for us. This person isn't who we envisioned you with. And this could have caused issues for your individual, okay? Um, but I also feel that your individual tried to keep an open mind as long as they could with you being open to this experience with you, but then something happened, something changed. They either got cold feet, they got scared, there are issues with commitment or whatever the, the situation was. It just became insurmountable. They just couldn't deal with it anymore. Yeah. So it might have just been that they wanted to keep their options open as well. They may just have not wanted to settle down, you guys, because they just felt like, you know what, um, maybe they just felt like, I don't need to. You know, um, I'm young, I'm this, I'm that. So why not keep my options open? Why do I have to settle down now? Oh, interesting. Forbidden love. So it was forbidden to love you. Why is that? The cards don't lie, you guys. Do you feel like for a lot of you, this could have been a secret relationship or your person was keeping your relationship or connection a secret from someone? You may have not known about it though. Um, but for a lot of you, I feel like you did know about this. You were the side chick. You were the person on the side um, that wasn't really getting all of the, you weren't, you weren't getting the full deal here. Um, this person may have been involved elsewhere or they just had ideas for something else that for some reason it didn't include you. And again, I think that's one of the reasons why spirit really wants to convey this message to you. Don't take this as you weren't good enough. This is, this has nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with you and your self-worth or value. It's just whatever was going on with this person at the time, they just, they didn't choose you or they couldn't choose you for whatever reason or circumstances kept this individual from choosing you. And I feel like it has a lot to do with a family or another relationship or just their freaking issues in, you know, with commitment and love. Yeah. High priestess is hidden energy here. Secret. You were secret here. They may have also just like they were really into you. So let's scratch all this third party crap because that might not even be your situation. It may be that your person, like they really wanted to open up themselves to you and open up their heart to you, but they just couldn't. 
They, they, they just couldn't. You were so different. You know, maybe they had always imagined that they were going to be with, you know, this specific type of person. And when they met you, they were like, whoa, this is really different. But when it came down to it, they just like couldn't make those changes or they just really couldn't right person, wrong time kind of thing I keep getting. So they hit, they hit a lot from you. They hit a lot about how they felt about you. They kept it inside. They may have just straight up lied to you. Things like that. Yeah, the moon's energy is hidden. There's for the high priestess and the moon together. It's hidden energy. You were hidden. They hid from you. They hid the real, their real feelings for you. Yeah. Look at this lady. She's like sitting there on the shore and she's got her, ha um, her hands on her heart. Like it's heavy. She's feeling something here. Definitely. And I feel like if you were hidden and you were the side chick or whatever, uh, the circumstances here, this was really painful. This is a really painful process for you. You may have shed a lot of tears over this person. I'm getting this. Um, but yeah, this right here is the breakdown in your connection. There's something that's obviously happened here and, and, uh, a lot was hidden from you. A lot was, yeah, a lot was just hidden from you. Ooh, yeah. I, I feel like this is a painful ending. So your person, I feel like if they were being deceptive or truly hiding from you, or they just were not comfortable, like telling you certain things, they ended it with you. So they, they like may have cut you off very abruptly. And I feel like it was very, very painful for you. Yeah. And it may have caused you to be like, you thought that this person was your one, your soulmate, this and that. And then you realized after that, you're just like, holy shit. Like maybe this person was never, I, they, I never knew this person at all. Like they just hurt me so badly. I never knew who they were. So this whole entire situation could have really, um, caused a spiritual awakening for you, a spiritual transformation, like a death and a rebirth really in a way as painful as it was kind of helped you to be a stronger person I'm seeing here. It may have also taught you a lot about, you know, never lowering your standards, especially if you were the side chick and you knew you were ever entering into a situation like that again, because you realize that if somebody is not strong enough to end something that they're in to be with you, it's most likely not going to happen while they're with you. <laughs> if they can't do that before you, they're not going to do it during that situation. Uh, usually most people, if you let them get away with certain things, they'll just continue to do it because it's the easy street. And most people choose the easy street. Sorry, the, the, the right things to do in life are very, very difficult. And um, there's a lot of pain involved. So not a lot of people walk that path. It's a very lonely path. So <laughs> anyways, that's what we have so far, you guys. So if that's resonating with you, your situation, any elements about that, this is your reading. So let's go into the second part of this, which is, are there specific circumstances involving other people who might be causing your person to withdraw from you right now? So I'll be very interested to know, like, is there any kind of third party that's going to come up here? Because that seems to me what the issue was in the past. Maybe this individual is no longer in those circumstances, but let's just see. Are there specific circumstances involving other people who might be causing your person to withdraw from you right now? Now, maybe you've moved on. That could come up as well. Hmm, we have bullseye, focused energy. This kind of reminds me of like the six of wands, right? Where it's just like we have a goal and we're going after a bullseye. You're the target here. So this is very interesting. I feel like this is telling us here that your person right now is focused on you. They're looking at you. See these two eyes here. They're looking at you. I don't know if they're like looking at your photo, looking at your picture, looking at your social media if you have one. But I feel like they're very focused on you right now. Even if they're with someone else, it doesn't matter. They're focused on you. And we have higher power. Very interesting. So it might be right now that they're very focused on you and they're also focused on maybe their relationship with their higher power. Maybe this person has done a 180. Maybe they have really cleaned up their act. Maybe they're working some sort of a recovery program. Could be like a 12-step recovery program. Um, and this is really introducing this individual to their faith or their higher power. Maybe they're rebuilding their connection with source, God, however, you know, whatever their belief system is, but it might be what they're truly focused on right now. And because they're focused on maybe making amends, right? They're kind of doing some, some, um, personal inventory, that might be one of the reasons that you're resurfacing and coming up for them, especially if they ended up hurting you, 
you're that individual that they might feel like, wow, you know what? I really want to make amends. So I'm getting that. All right, let's see what else. Okay, so this one came up the other day and people corrected me. Thank you so much on this. I think this, I said it was the Mask of Zorro and you guys were like, no, this is the Princess Bride. You know, it's so funny. I've never seen that movie, which is why it escaped me when I saw it. But the Knight of Cups, you guys, is Pisces energy. The Knight of Cups is somebody who has something emotional that they want to share from their heart. So I do feel like this individual right now, um, the circumstance. So what, what are the specific circumstances that are involving other people? The, the, the person that's coming through is the influence is the higher power, actually. The, um, this person's higher power is actually working with them and influencing them to focus on their heart. And I feel like their feelings for you, maybe they buried them long ago, are now starting to bubble up to the surface. And so they're thinking about how they feel. That's what I'm, that's how I'm taking this. So I'm not saying that there's no influence around this person anymore, but it does seem to me like they've given their power over to their higher power instead of their power over to other people to basically influence them and tell them what to do or what's for them and what's not for them. Because I feel like they've done that before and it didn't work out for them. It really didn't. They lost out on things because they, they weren't true to themselves. Knight of coins. So this is, uh, Virgo's energy. So Knight of Co Coins is very slow, very steady, very practical, very truthful, very honest, somebody who's very dedicated. So this is slow moving energy. So I do feel like even though your uh, person right now could be focusing on how they feel about you, what happened with the two of you in the past, they're really working with their higher power to take steps to really work on themselves and, and like dedicate themselves to just to being a better person. So I feel like there's an improvement with this individual that we're tapping into today. They've gone through some sort of change or transformation themselves. And we have the hanged man, which again is Pisces energy. So we have double Pisces. The hanged man, of course, is um, the crown chakra is illuminated. Uh, this is, to me, it's kind of like a meditation card. It's somebody who's really just thinking a lot. They're very like their crown chakra is so um, activated right now. They're really connected to their higher power. So to me, this is just confirming for us that the major, the biggest influence on your person right now is their higher power, their connection to source and their, their connection to themselves. I feel like this individual could be meditating. Um, they could be spending time just, like I said, doing a lot of reflecting on the past, reflecting on their issues themselves, working on themselves. They could be working with some sort of a therapist, working some sort of a, uh, like a program or something to where they're improving their lives. I feel like they're trying to get back on target, but I feel like that very first energy though is that they have their eye on you. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the past. They're thinking about making amends with you. That's what I'm seeing here so far. So that's the biggest influence and I like to see this. So everything else is gonna be secondary. What is the second energy here for um, circumstances that could be involving other people? Okay, so we have smiley face. So the influence, you guys, does not have to be a negative one, right? It says, are there specific circumstances involving other people who might be causing your person to withdraw from you? That doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. Let's just say your individual is still in a healing process. Maybe that's not, it's not the right time to come towards you. Maybe they'll just end up doing more harm than good. So we have joy here, though. So there's a lot of joy, perhaps, maybe you're person is spending time doing things that bring them joy, getting in touch with their inner child, uh, traveling, doing things that make them happy, getting back in touch with themselves. So there could be a group of friends that they're spending time with that are helping to lift their vibration, helping them to focus on the beautiful blessings in life, right? Yeah dream, imagine, imagine what could be. So this is to me, it's very dreamy. It's very childlike. It's very playful. This individual could be spending time with maybe um, family uh, that makes them feel happy or just friends that make them feel happy doing things that make them feel um, just really at peace, basically. So let's go ahead and get some other factors here. 
Now we have the tower. We have Tupac coming up here. So the tower energy, um, this is a shakeup. Yeah, I feel like this, your person has gone through a transformation and there is someone in their environment that's actually helping them to transform to become a happier, more joyous person. So I feel like this is an influence in a positive way. So it's kind of like right now, it may be that your person isn't necessarily rushing, even though they're feeling something, and we can clearly see this with the Knight of Cups, but they're in the Knight of Coins energy too, which is kind of slowing down, right? And maybe focusing on that work and connecting with their higher power but also kind of connecting with themselves, connecting with their dreams, maybe reinventing themselves is what I'm seeing with this tower energy. Ooh, we have the emperor. I think that's Scarface right there, Al Pacino. So the emperor, Aries energy. This is awesome because this is about your individual taking some sort of responsibility for their actions, taking, res taking responsibility as to where they are in life, what got them to where their current spot um, how can they act more responsible, responsibly moving forward? So that's what I'm getting here for your individuals. They're trying to take responsibility for their life. They're trying to gain some sort of um, control back in whatever they have let get out of control. They're just trying to bring more, more joy, feel back into their lives. Oops, sorry guys. Oh, this is Amy Winehouse coming through. Page of Swords. I'm pretty sure that's Amy Winehouse, yeah. So obviously Amy Winehouse, you know, she, she passed away at a very young age, right? So talented. My God, when I hear her voice, I'm just like, you just got to be kidding me. It's like from the heavens. It's just amazing. Anyways, um, you know, she, she had a tough, she had it tough. You know, she had a lot of demons, a lot of uh, addictions, and obviously that's what ended up taking her in the end. But I feel like this is telling us it's like a survival story. Your person has an opportunity to change things around. There could be an addiction with alcohol. The reason that I say that is because I'm pretty sure, I mean, I know there were other things involved, but you know, I know that alcohol was a really big thing with um, Amy Winehouse and that's what took her. And this is interesting because Tupac is also gone as well. So it's just people taken tragically b before their time. And I feel like, you know, um, tomorrow is not guaranteed. I feel like your individual has had an opportunity to uh, really see that life is short and um, it, can, it can be over in a flash. So why not make the best of your life? Why not start making better choices now? Why not start improving yourself on some level, right? So I feel like there is um, a support or a group system around this individual that's actually helping them to be better helping them to make better choices. And that's kind of what they're involved with right now. Okay. So that might be where they're kind of focused and hung up, uh, which is not a bad thing. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and get one last card for influences that are causing your person to kind of put on the brakes and withhold from you at this time. <clears throat> we have resilience. Yeah, there's some kind of a survival energy here, being resilient, you know, bouncing back basically. You're stronger than you know. Yeah, take time for a nap. Yeah, there is, um, I'm, I'm not getting, your person, yes, they could still have something going on. There could still be some challenges around them, but I feel like for the majority of them, they're using this time to really focus on themselves and not be around people that stress them out. This individual, if they did have a toxic family, they could have separated themselves from this toxic family. They could have um, you know, gone through some sort of a death you know, with their physical family. There just could be something here where they're trying to bounce back. They're trying to bounce back from a from a dark time, basically. With the Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Ace of Cups is beautiful. I feel like, what is that? Kind of looks like Claire Danes, kind of. Or it looks like that chick from The Notebook. I don't know. I don't know who it is. Rachel McAdams. Um, but yeah, the Ace of Cups is, I'm working on my own cup. I'm working on this cup right now of love. I'm holding it. I'm nurturing it. I'm, I'm looking at what's inside. And until my cup is running over, I have really nothing that I can offer or give to another. So I feel like that's really the focus right now for your individual. Yeah, the lovers. Yeah, this is about making choices. This is, um, you know, Yoko Ono and, um, oh my gosh, I can't even think of his name. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank. You guys know who that is. Beatles guy, right? So uh, John, 
linen. <laughs> I just could not think for the life of me. But uh, lover's energy, this is about making a choice. Your person right now, I feel, is at a crossroads or they were at a crossroads and they now have an opportunity to make better choices that are more heart-based, heart-centered and authentic to who they are than they did in the past. Because I don't feel like your person made authentic choices in the past at all. Not at all. And then we have the hermit. Yeah, the hermit is about going within. I think that's Meryl Streep. Going within um, withdrawing from the world, going within, doing a lot of soul searching. Yeah. So they're in a soul searching energy. I feel like they're actually around people that are supportive. They might be traveling alone. They might be just spending a lot of time by themselves, isolating themselves. I'm not getting, it's a bad thing. I'm getting, it's a positive thing. So I'm not getting a lot of drama energy with this person right now. I feel like in the past there was probably a lot of drama, but something has shifted. So it may be that you haven't spoken to this person in a while. It's been a while, um, but they've had time to go in and reflect and to do some sort of soul searching and work on themselves, personal inventory, et cetera. And it's like spirit is guiding their way, their higher power, their connection with source right now is really strong and it's helping them to carry them to the next um next steps basically so we're going to go ahead and end it there um if this resonated with you and you guys would like to know more we're going to go over to the extended i will put that link in the description box down below i'll also try to remember to put it in the timestamps. i'm sorry not timestamps. in the uh, comment section i'll pin it out on top for you guys so you can access that but we're going to go into do they have any regrets so far with how they handled themselves in your situation so we're going to really tap into the personal inventory that this person has done on your situation then what are they most afraid of when it comes to reconnecting with you? So what do their fears look like? What do they honestly feel for you deep, deep inside their heart right now towards you, as well as what actions will spirit eventually guide them to take towards you next? So if that sounds interesting, definitely um, visit me over on the extended. And if you guys would like to support my channel for free, all you need to do is just make sure that you're subscribed to this channel as well as hit a like or the like button on this uh, video, or even put like a happy face emoji say, telling me that you enjoyed the reading inside the comment sections. Those little small things make a huge difference for this channel. So I really appreciate it, you guys. And thanks so much for watching. You guys take care. Bye-bye.